um, I'm working on manifesting a house, and uh, I feel so downstream about it. I, I've learned how to bask. I've learned how to keep my feeling about it be the most important. I've skipped all the steps on how I'm going to do it, and I only see it done. Um, I enjoy adding to it. I enjoy the expansion of my desire, and I've come to feel what that feels like about adding, oh, this component and that component to it. And I don't feel like I'm rooting it up every day and wondering why my house hasn't appeared. And I understand there can't be instant manifestation, but I do notice that things come into my life really fast. I'm, I can manifest stuff sometimes in minutes, sometimes in days, and I would like this to be a manifestation, just like the button in the castle thing, to just whoom. And I'm, I'm wondering where, am, am I missing something to not make it well, happen Well, do you fast? think you can afford the house you're looking for? I don't think that really matters. I that's good if that's not an issue. In other words, if the house that you've created in your mind, you believe you can currently afford it. I know that right now, in this now, the house I've created in my mind, I cannot afford, but I don't let that be a reoccurring thought or even spend much time on that. Well, the reason we ask the question is because that feels where the vibrational discord is. Mm -hmm. And it's not just because it's generally where it is. When someone says to us, I have a really good plan or picture of something, and then they describe the way they're working on it in the way that you are we want to say you want to work on it in your mind because it's pleasurable to do so not because working on it in your mind is the way you think will be the way to get what you want right the vibrational emotional stance that you want to have is I've done the work it's over there and any thoughts I have about the house now are simply for the pleasure that the thoughts give me in the moment not ever about trying to make it happen with my thoughts Yes. And the fact that we can feel that you're trying to make it happen with your thoughts lets us know that there's some resistance that you're trying to overcome with those thoughts. I mean, you know, I'll go for walks in the area where I want to live and I'll take pieces that I like and just put that in my house, you know, granite counter. And, here, like, and here's the question that we ask. And why do you do that? Because, well, my lo I want to create the house of my dreams in my head first and then have it come. And I don't want to work my way up. I just kind of want to move from where I am now into the house of my well, dreams. Well, here's the piece that we can feel here. In the same way that we say there's step one and there's step two and there's step three. And there's a whole step between step one and step three. Mm -hmm. You said, I want to create the house that I want in my dreams. And we want to say to you, done, check that off your list. Mm -hmm. Step one, done. In other words, we don't think that any more walks in any more neighborhoods or any more perusing through any more catalogs <laughs> is going to give you more information about what we, you want. We think that that house is done and it's in vibrational escrow. Okay. So then when you take the walk because it feels good to take the walk, when you take the walk because you're trying to amplify the step three part of your experience rather than you're trying to shore up the step one part of your experience, now the walk is beneficial. We want you to see the distance between where you are, not yet living in that dream house, mm -hmm. and living in that dream house as your joyful journey, just like you would see a vacation as a joyful journey. In other words, when you're thinking about a house, you say, not in the house, in the house, let's make this fast. <laughs> But when you're thinking about a vacation, I'm at home, I'm going to go to all those other places, and I'm going to come back home, then you say, oh, well, logically, why should I go? I'm home. I'm going to end up home. Seems to me I've got my vacation accomplished. But you don't go on the vacation to get it done. You go on the vacation yeah. for the fun along the way. And the thing that we can feel that you're not feeling in the way we want you to feel it is, we want you to understand that your dream of this house is there to give you the journey of feeling yourself moving toward it but if it feels like it's not happening if you feel stuck then your journey isn't serving you in the way you want it to and so what creation is about is about making the journey joyful making the journey what matters most the journey to your house matters more than the house the journey to the new house matters more than the house for you what it is is you want to use this house as a symbol of your ability to create that's part of it that's what a lot of you are doing you want to mold things into place because you want the evidence that you are a creator as well as wanting the house feeling really good where you are is the best indication of being the deliberate creator of anything that you could ever do in other words we would so rather see someone living without the dream house but joyful in the knowledge that it's coming than actually 
receiving the manifestation of it, except that they couldn't receive the manifestation of it without doing that first. So the comparison doesn't stack up when you don't care that you don't have it, but you're in love with the idea of having it, then you're there. It's like satisfied with where I am and eager for more. That's the combination. Yeah. So we know you hear it and we know you think you're doing it and, <laughs> and everybody relates because everybody's got something like this and we are enjoying tremendously this discussion. So now we're just going to ask you some questions because we don't want you to tell the story the way you've been telling the story because the way you've been telling the story isn't exactly on point. So we're going to ask some questions and just give us your first knee-jerk response. Don't try to twist it to be the way you think it should sound. Okay. Just give us the answers to the questions and let's see if we can't figure out where you are in relationship to this. So would you rather live in the house sooner or later? Sooner. And if later would give you the opportunity to create a house that's even more to your liking, would you rather live in a house sooner or later? Later. So whether it's sooner or later, it isn't really important, is it? <laughs> if it... <laughs> if it comes sooner, it will be a vibrational match to what you've put there so far. Right. If it comes later, it will be a vibrational match to all the data you've picked along the way. And how much data you, do you think you're in the process of choosing as you're walking through these neighborhoods? Oh. As you're walking through these neighborhoods, are you looking at places and saying, don't need this data, got it figured out. Don't need this data, got it figured out. Don't need this data, got it figured out. Or are you saying, like that granite, like that lawn? Constantly. Like yeah. So you must be saying to us then that you're still in the process of collecting data, yes? So yeah. if you're still in the process of collecting data, <laughs> do you want this house to happen sooner or later? Well, certainly I would be just as happy with the but data wait, I've collected. But wait, but wait, but wait. If you were completely satisfied with the data that you've collected, you would not still be out there every day taking a walk collecting data. <laughs> But there's always something to want. Well, this is what's stuck in your vibration. You keep thinking that there is more that you <laughs> want to get into it. And you are not accepting that you can get another house every single year. You're thinking, this is my one and only uh. house. This is my <laughs> dream house. Like, this is my dream relationship. In other words, I've got to find the relationship or I've got to find the house that will satisfy me forevermore. And we say, there lies the flaw of your reasoning <laughs> because you are the creator of your experience. And so if you could say, hmm, I'm in the process of attracting a house that is the manifestational indicator of everything that I've gathered so far, then you'd say, and I'm ready for it to come sooner and it would come. But your vibration has all of those other things in it. And what's tripping you up mostly relative to both of these subjects that we've talked about here is the feeling that when you do it, you got to do it right. And you've got to do it right. The first crack out of the box. And, and so that really is what's in there. So do you want this house sooner or later? Sooner. <laughs> and the reason you want it sooner is because because I think I have put enough in no, there to the dog gets no, a big right. No, no, no. <laughs> the reason you want it sooner is because you know that you've created a perfect house for now and I that you can create another, another house another, another. later. There you have it. Right. There you have it, you see. That's the vibrational stance. Because I'm on an eternal journey. I never get it done. I can't get it wrong and I never get it done. So I feel satisfied, satisfying things come. I feel satisfied, satisfying things comes. I feel satisfied, satisfying things come. I feel satisfied, satisfying things comes. I feel unsatisfying, satisfying things can't come. I feel unsatisfied, satisfying things can't come. I feel unsatisfied, satisfying things can't come. Really good. It is really good. Yeah, thank you. So, more questions. Uh, okay. So I want my house to come sooner or later. Sooner. <laughs> later is fine, and I'm willing. How no. about sooner and sooner. later? Yeah, okay. In other words, I want it all. I want the universe to deliver to me now right. all that I'm a vibrational match to. I'm comfortable with that, yeah. Good, because that's how it is. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. I want the universe to deliver to me now everything that I'm a vibrational match to. And that equals every moment of manifestation in your life. Mm -hmm. The fastest way to loosen up and allow what's in your vibrational escrow in, you ready for this? <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> Appreciate what is. Uh -huh.
Because in your appreciation of what is, you stop resistance. And when you stop resistance, what's in your escrow has to come. So that's what we meant earlier when we said we work way, 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 way too hard on all of this. All that goal setting, all that strolling through neighborhoods, all that trying to define it, all the trying to get myself into vibrational alignment. You've done step one. It's there. And you're going to keep doing step one. That's why it's going to be sooner and later. You can't stop doing step one. You can't stop adding amendments to what you want. So you're going to move into a house and you're going to love it. And then you're going to want another closet. And then you're going to want a different right. yard. And then you're <laughs> going to want it to be a different color. And then you're going to want it to be bigger. And then you're going to want Never it to ends. be smaller. And then you're going to want it to be bigger. And then you're going to want it to be smaller and then you're going to want it to be bigger then you're going to want it to be smaller and then you're going to want more people to live with you and then you're going to want them to all to go away yeah. and then you're going to want That's them right. to, and I, in other words you're just going to constantly through what you're living you're going to keep amending your desire and the universe can keep giving you whatever is in your current vibration and so when you make a decision that you're satisfied where you are and you're shoring that up by just making lists of things that you appreciate by getting on rampages of appreciation then what happens do you know a steady I to rampaging of appreciation will hold you so consistently in the place of allowing that as your contrasting experience keeps putting more in your escrow your state of constant appreciation will keep bringing it to you bringing it to you bringing it to you bringing it to you and then you don't have to garner any patience because it will be coming so fast and people will be watching you and they'll say you know you always seem so satisfied with what is but you keep getting more I don't get it I haven't liked my car for the last 10 years and I can't get a new one and you hardly ever even talk about your new car or about <laughs> wanting something you just seem so in love with your life as it is and your life just gets better and better and better why does your life just get better and better and better when I don't see you hammering anything about what you want and you say because I hammered it with contrast and now I do the real work now I appreciate what is and I hold myself in a place of vibrationally allowing what I put over in vibrational escrow while I was hammering to come to me there the art of allowing Beautiful. So what's the process that gets the most work done to feel as good as I can feel from where I am? So what's the process? Appreciation. So don't you appreciate this hotel? Isn't it nice that it exists? Don't you appreciate these people that went into business and do such a good job of organizing that they stay in business? Don't you appreciate Jerry and Esther and their willingness to come around and, and, and set forth an opportunity for us to have this? And don't we all appreciate all of you? Don't you appreciate every person who dragged their physical body here? Don't you appreciate the people that are willing to sit in the chair? Don't you appreciate knowing that you are the creator of your own experience? Don't you appreciate lunch that you're all going to enjoy in a few moments? Don't you appreciate this room and how comfortable it is? Don't you appreciate the stability of the chair that you're sitting on? In other words, we know this may sound silly, but as you are deliberately looking, nitpicking, 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 nitpicking for pieces of things, that you can appreciate pretty soon you'll just naturally appreciate so that you'll be in the constant state of allowing the constant evolution that the contrast of your life demands from you appreciation is the key you see yeah beautiful thank you yes it's just tremendous <laughs>